mainly do my wife has been working on Saturdays, which is my deuce day. What's it make a difference, you might say? Her van parks here. That's all the clearance I have. My driveway goes on an angle instead of perpendicular with the uh, road. So to get that out, I gotta have this out of the way. Because when I'm backing up, I cannot see past that tree down there. But I digress. The main thing this video is uh, I'm going to check if I'm hydro locked or not. Now I'm going to leave a link in the description for hydro lock information from Deuce and Guns. What happened was, uh, you know, the old Silverado used to have sitting back there. Finally got it moved out of here. They sent a little bitty rollback who didn't account for my uh, wonderful pristine driveway. He bought him out there. His under the bed lift got stuck there. There's the grease right there. And he bought them out completely. So we had to take the deuce and jerk him out. And I would love to get that on tape. I mean, how often do you pull a uh, fully loaded down rollback out with anything? But it was awesome. But that's how I get the mud on the tires like I do now. But it was raining so bad, I could not, I mean, could not get a video. And why is there so much crap in my truck is... Like any good work truck, when it's not moving, it's a storage building. There you go, Mr. Weeder. So after I uh, pulled the truck out, locked it up and everything, and returned her here, I was half asleep from being uh, working on night shift. I turned everything off. I left the power on. For about mm, four to six hours, everything ran fuel pump kept pressurizing this can be bad because as you learn deucing guns you get too much pressure in the cylinder and you blow a rod out it isn't a common thing but it's an old truck it's a failure it can happen so to test it you're gonna keep the fuel off you'll have the power on and you'll bump it a few times to make sure it sounds right if everything sounds good you start it up afterwards and hopefully nothing breaks hopefully I got enough power to uh, start it because I haven't charged the batteries and most important thing make sure you're neutral make sure you're neutral there's no safeties on these things so if you start it up in gear it will take off trust me I know so let's bump start this thing so fuel kill is on you're gonna turn the power on and I need an extra hand um, Alright, I just put you on the hood. Okay, I'm holding the kill out. Power's on, I'm gonna bump it. Everything sounds good. So, what we do now, move your finger, turn the fuel on, power on. Let's give her a start. Let's give her some, uh, some help. I did not hydro lock. Let's step out of here. Hopefully you can hear me. Another thing I've been trying to test out and figure out. That nut right there. That unit's called the hydraulic head. It's with the high pressure fuel pump. Uh, the bolt became so loose on me that it was, I mean, I touched it and it fell out. And it shot so much uh, fuel out that it grounded out my uh, lights. I didn't realize it until I was on a big hill. And it was spraying from here to there. I know I gotta fix that better. If I got to the top of this big hill when I let off the throttle, it died. Well, I limped it to a friend's house. We put a rubber O-ring on it, sealed it for, right for a little bit. But then uh did it again so i put a copper washer from a uh, brake system on it sealed it great but now as you see it's more cold natured harder to start and it's died on me a couple times too i gotta loosen my winch
also uh, a great man at tactical repair. Told me. That uh, I probably got it out of time a little bit. Oh Lord. The safety catch on the winch handle. Put back on the handle. Hang on. And this safety right here went back on it. Alright, so we're gonna down. We're gonna push the clutch in all the way back. That should be neutral. Don't worry, I'll start it next time. I'm gonna double check it before I do it. Let's see if I got me some slack. I did not. I'm gonna be a two-person job. I wound it up too tight by accident. Hey, I got enough. better I do not like a setting like that all right well I looked around so where was I oh, yeah. I got in my friend's house got those things on it and the guy Garrett at tactical repair told me it's probably uh, going bad which is most likely the truth I think it's a hairline fracture crack somewhere which is a very good possibility I'm trying to seal it temporarily until I can uh, get a new one oh, great I'm gonna get up on that so I can get a new one on uh, probably income tax because from what I've read oh there we go They're not cheap. Like 500 bucks when you can find them. So right now I've got a slow to start, cold nature. It stays nice and wet in there. Handy dandy flashlight. There we go, focusing. See, it's nice and wet. Drips off that little bolt right there. Just called a pressure relief. That one right there. I've highlighted and goes down see where before it was squirting everything soaking everything all the way around here and everything now it's a slight leak truck still runs but i'm trying to find some way like i'm thinking about instead of having the washer on there pulling it out maybe thread lock or something to get me through six seven months i still got gravel to get for this wonderful driveway all right there's a couple things I've been into, haven't broadcasted. Reasons why I haven't broadcasted was I can't get the truck out. And the day I did, it was a monsoon. Put this handy dandy weeder back up. Oh, it's too long without one. Ah, crap, my finger. Let's see. Kill, off, off, neutral, neutral and neutral everything looks good and yes i'll drain my brakes in a second well that's all the time i have just a bump start to check for the hydro lock in this monster let you know what i've been up to you guys have a awesome day
non-stop 